I'm totally getting two shirts for $7.50. Old Navy. And a bright shirt for $5.49. Woo woo. $8. I got a blue one. Yay me. I like blue stripes. Not feeling those stripes. Not feeling them at all. Not feeling these stripes either. $8 is great. They're regularly $16.94. I like these. They're $8 each. $8.50. I just have to find my size. I want the black and white one. $8.50 is a good price. Nice. I don't like I don't like the blue one. I'll just get the black and white one. Ooh, $5.49. I like that. Cute. Okay guys, I went to Ulta and I got the um, Stila palette that was half price today. It's the Stila in the Moment palette. Really, really pretty. Um, I had I have one of their palettes. Um, I think the first one they came out in this like format, but I haven't purchased any others. It's usually $39 and I got it for $20. It's today's uh, Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. Um, it's like the beauty steal. I hope they have more in the back or something. And I got some nail polish prizes for giveaway because I love Ulta nail polish. And um, I got for two lucky winners, I got two sets of uh, these polishes. They're on sale today, so you could buy them. Um, the one on the left, Focus, the one on the left is my favorite ever, little black dress, and the one on the right is Envy, a beautiful, beautiful dark green. So I got two sets um, for giveaway. And uh, it, Old Navy, I took you in there. I haven't shopped at Old Navy in forever, and I'm so excited. Okay, first of all, this was all, I think, about... Yeah, my total was like 70 something. And um, everything was on sale, except for this shirt that my husband is going to die for. It is a Guinness shirt. Um, it wasn't on sale, it was 14, and he's gonna die. That's his favorite beer. And we're just not gonna tell him it came from the women's section. <laughs> It doesn't look like a woman's shirt, you know, particularly. So, yeah. So, I got all these shirts. They were all, like, some of, the, like, that one was $5.49. I got that one for, what, $8? Um, yeah. They were all on sale. And what I came in for was that darn commercial, Jennifer Love Hewitt, that darn commercial. You know I love hoodies. If you watch my videos, you know I love hoodies. But this is, like, a t-shirt hoodie. It was $12. They, um, had some of these left. I got this color. They didn't have a lot of the colors that I wanted to look at. But... I like dark colors, so I got a dark one, and uh, yeah, so, and that was on clearance, too. So, yeah, I got a whole bunch of clearance. Look, it's like a, a, a an Old Navy explosion. I haven't shopped there in so many years, and this is a newer one. I don't know what else we've got on tap today, but I have a few other things I want to do. I don't know if I'll get them done today, but if I do, I will take you with me. Kmart is not playing when it comes to Milani lipsticks. Look at this, guys. Full section. Go Kmart. And they're $4.99. $4.99 for each one. Though, uh, Milani is buy one, get one half off this week at CVS, so definitely check there if you have a CVS. Maybelline is buy one get up one off half off this week at Kmart. Now see this is the Fit Me concealer I was talking about. I use 30, but 35 is weird because it is lighter. So I like 30. 30 is the one I use, and these are 629. If I didn't have them already, this is what I'd use buy one get one half off on. The Vivids 6.99. So you get another one for $3.50. That's a great deal. And they've got baby lips for $3.79. I wonder if that's... Buy one, get one half off. That's a super deal. $3.79. The color whispers. The dollar store. Have you ever seen a dollar store? Let me be the first to show you one. It's kind of amazing. I love it. Everything's a dollar. These are what I put my lipsticks in. 
here, dollar. You can get these heart-shaped ones or the star-shaped ones. Um, yeah, so these are perfect for lipstick storage. I have like two of these and I need another one. So um, yeah, these are just cute and perfect for easy storage. And these are what I store my pencils in and my brushes in, you know, like brow pencils, um, eyeshadow brushes, and they're a dollar as well. So really nice, I'm gonna pick one up so you can see like the shape. So just perfectly usable and a dollar. This is another good section, the baby section. Nighttime lotion, I gotta try it. Yeah, you see who's on the front? Amazing, you gotta try that. They have everything here, they have, oh and look, this is another good thing to try, creamy baby oil. Yeah, I'm gonna try that, hello. Oh, Elmo's on the cover of this one. This is good stuff. Liquid powder. The only thing I will be staying away from is the baby powder. Not a fan of that. Look who's here. Elf. Elf brushes. I can't get away from them now. I never saw them before. Now I can't get away from them. I don't know what that is. Pressed powder from Elf. I got a lot of LA, LA color stuff too. Liquid eyeliner in black. For a dollar. This is just killing me. These are cotton balls, but why does it say tampons? That is just hilarious. Why in the world does it say cotton balls, tampon? I mean, I know it's not in English, but that's hilarious. You must agree. This is the weakest part of the store. Well, to me, because it makes me weak. The candy, lots of candy. Oh. Sugar free? Not for me. Let's see. Laffy Taffy Double Bubble. And then there goes the chocolate over there. Look what I found. They had a dollar TV bin or DVD bin. I got 30 something. The best of our list. This is like a whole season. 15, 13 episodes on two discs. And I never watched this, but I will now. It's the whole season. The complete series for a dollar. Now this is what I call a placemat. That's an exciting placemat. You got all your kitchen things here too. Measuring cups, bowls, and mugs. I totally like this one. This one's a good mug. Blue, that one's chipped. But that is so cute. and a lot of glassware, wine glasses, mugs, all kinds of stuff for, yeah, a wine glass, it's not bad. And these are just too fancy and cute, look at these. These are like chalices. So, all of this equaled, where's my receipt? I just had it. Oh, there it is. I got all this stuff for $21.08. Everything was a dollar. So, uh, some of the stuff I showed you at the store, but I thought I'd show you here. Uh, Big Buck Palmer Milk Chocolate Favored Bar. Flavored Bar. Uh, I don't know about the part that says flavored. That's kind of scaring me. Does it scare you, puppy? You scared, puppy? Yeah, I don't know about flavored. I kind of want it to be chocolate. Um, I got an hour later, uh, long lasting chews. This is just in a different kind of a pack than usual. I'm used to the big fat pack, but this is six different flavors, so that's good. These, I love these. Uh, I use these instead of like the floss that comes out of that, you know, like that square that annoys me. So I always use flossers. Then I, this is all my baby products, okay? I got baby oil gel because I'm running out of my, um, what is it? Vaseline uh, oil gel. Nighttime lotion. Yeah. Calming lather, uh, lavender scent. 
gentle and mild. Uh, I got baby shampoo because people are always, every time I talk about washing brushes or anything like that, people tell me they use baby shampoo. So uh, they, they had a plain one that wasn't the calming lavender scent, but it was all busted up at the top. So I'll just go with the lavender and try that out. And baby lotion. This is the plain one, not the uh, calming one. So, oh, and I also got, I don't know, this was like next to the baby stuff. This is a three-in-one cotton set, an ensemble. You get uh, cotton um, balls, you got cotton pads, and um, let's see, uh, swabs. So I just thought this would be really cute to put on my makeup vanity. And it was a dollar. Everything was a dollar. Okay, some things I got for the kitchen, and you guys probably know they're not really going to be for me. Uh, bacon rack. I thought this was cool because it's always so messy, and I think when we make bacon in the microwave, I put it on a plate, and I think my husband does too. So this is kind of nice to have instead of putting it on one of your, like, dinner plates. Uh, I got some... Um, scrubber washcloths. I thought this was pretty cool because they're not regular washcloths. They've got a scrubby side. I thought that was pretty cool. There are two of them there. And I got, let's see, the uh, microfiber cleaning pads, a three pack. These are good. We're always looking for things to scrub pots and things like that. And I got, this is a, I went out on a limb here. This is a scrubber for the grill. He's a big grill man, my husband. Um, so I got a uh, grill brush. I thought that would be helpful and for a dollar. Uh, and I also got, they had a whole bunch of Betty Crocker um, kitchen tools. And I thought these were cool salad tongs. They're pretty, pretty strong. Like some of the ones they had there were not this strong plastic. Um, these are pretty strong. So I thought that would be cool. And oh, this is the last kitchen implement. A chopping mat. I thought this was a great idea. There's a set of two of them in here. And basically what you do is chop your vegetables and things on them. I thought that might be neat to try because, um, you know, sometimes you don't want to do it on a chopping, um, like a block or, you know, we have the plastic kind of chopping block um, that if you've watched the cooking videos, you see my husband use. So I thought I'd let him try that out. <laughs> oh, this was in there. I forgot when I went through the baby stuff. Creamy baby oil. I thought I would... Uh, it says it's fast absorbing. I thought I would try that. These are all really good sizes. I mean, this is 10 ounces. And I told you about the Elf. I couldn't believe I saw Elf there. Um, I got one of these if you watched in a Target video. Uh, and these are at my Walmart now too, which is amazing. But I just got another one. I got one of those I showed you in the store and that's uh, for putting lipstick. I put my lipstick upside down where I can see the bottom of the label for the color. And I couldn't believe that DVD section. I mean, 30 something is a show I never watched, but I saw an old episode once and I did like it. So I figured I'll watch 11 more episodes. And uh, Beautiful People series I never watched, but I thought it was cool. She, I remember her from Melrose Place, the woman in the center. And Arliss, I think I watched an episode of this before too, and I liked it. And it's got Yang from Grey's Anatomy, and I like this, uh, the, the, this guy, this guy from, um, he's from a couple shows I've liked, so I thought I'd watch that. And Juicy Oozers. I love gummy bears. Gummy bears are my favorite thing in life. And when I see something new gummy, I must get it. So yeah, that was pretty good for like 20 bucks. I mean, that's a lot of crap, right? <laughs> and I also stopped by Walmart because one of you all told me that cameras were on sale in Walmart and I got a camera and I'm so excited about it because it was discounted so much. It's crazy. And this is a, uh, they call them Olympus Tough. And it's waterproof and shockproof. So for what I have coming up uh, in the future, taping, uh, <laughs> I, I figured I'd try it. I had one of these a couple years ago, of course a different model, an older model, and I found it to be excellent. Um, you know, because if you are in a situation where you're, you're filming and everything like that, and you know, like I was filming once riding horses, that's what, I, where I took this. I was on vacation. It was perfect for vacation filming when you're, you know, um, we go on vacation, we do hikes and everything like that. So it's really cool to have a camera like this. And it used to be two something and it was down to a hundred. So I was psyched and it's black. I think it's so cool that it's black. Let me try to open it with one hand. 
Of course, at Walmart, they were kind of busy, and it took literally almost 15 minutes for someone to help get it out of the case. But I am patient, and I am nice, so I waited 15 minutes. I just kind of stood there and looked at other things while um, someone helped me. But that's the camera. Very exciting. I like that it's it's nice. Uh, this The one I'm filming with right now for you is black, and I just like black cameras. I know they've come in really pretty colors, but I just love black cameras. So that is the new one, and I have another one to sell. What I do usually is, is when I, I keep my cameras in really good shape, video cameras and digital cameras, and once I get a new one, I sell one on um, eBay. I sell so many electronic things on eBay because every time I get a new thing, I sell an old thing. So I have actually, I have two things, two electronic things to sell on eBay uh, and I'll put them up closer to the weekend. Weekend's better for selling stuff on eBay. I like to put my ads up um, for products usually around Thursday and have them sell over the weekend. Usually do a three day auction or at most five days. And uh, yeah, so I'm excited about that. I got a new camera. Um, that's it, guys. I'm going to put all this stuff away, and then I am going to do some housework. And I know you don't want to be around for that. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for coming along with me today. And I didn't go in Walmart with my camera today because I was buying a camera. So I was like, my luck, they'll arrest me. They'll be like, what are you doing? That camera's from here and, you know, all of that. So I didn't bring my camera inside when I was getting this. I wanted to show you all the sale, sales prices for the cameras, but definitely thank you for, you know, to the person that commented and told me that. And if you are in the market for a digital camera or a video camera, it's a great time to go to Walmart because they are clearing out, uh, I was told they were clearing out their merchandise for new cameras that are coming next month. So there were some really great prices on cameras. Cameras that were almost $200 are now down to like 80, 100. So it's a really good time to uh, shop and get a great camera for yourself there. Talk to you guys later, bye-bye.